Now I'd like to show you how you can measure the width of an object using the clamp rake, especially when you need to rotate the region of interest and refer it to a local coordinate system. In this object, I'm interested in measuring this base width, and in the particular image that I'm working with, the edges are not precisely lined up with the pixel rows and columns. Now what I've done so far in terms of script processing is found these two edges and then established my coordinate system at the lower right corner located right here. The coordinate system is set up to follow that right side edge of the object. Now under machine vision, I'm looking at the clamp rake to measure the distance between two feature points and I'm interested in this baseline. But again, since it has the tilt, I will go ahead and use the rectangular ROI that gives me the ability to rotate it to an arbitrary angle. So let me get this adjusted to be aligned with that uh, baseline of the object. We see that it's measuring the distance and reports it as 6.74 centimeters. You can adjust some of the details of the clamp. For example, the, the gap defines the number of search lines that you have. I'll just go back to the default here. And I need to give this a particular name specific to the measurement. I'll call this measure base width. And it's important that this be enabled. Reposition the region of interest based on the coordinate system that was established earlier. So that set coordinate system is based on the label that I gave to that step. Now, please draw your attention to this measurement right there, presently 6.74 centimeters, and then I'm going to cycle through different versions of the object with different translations and rotations. And what you see here is that the region of interest tracks the object because it's locked to the local coordinate system defined by the object's lower right corner. And in each case, we see that the measurement is always 6.7 centimeters plus or minus a millimeter or two.